I think they just got in the bathtub. So we're just going to jump right into this. Um, I already have my foundation and my brows on. Um, I used, I used my e.l.f. Lock It Face Primer. Um, I just used that on like my chin, my nose, and my forehead. Just usually, you know, the places where I get oily. Um, and I used my Revlon Pore Filling Primer just right here. Because I have really large pores right there. Um, then I went in with my... L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in the shade 102 Shell Beige and I mixed in some of the LA Girl White Foundation and with that to lighten it up some. I went in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 15 Fair and I set all of that with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade 05 Fair. So now that we have that done we'll finish off the face in just a few minutes. Um, I am going to power through this because, for one, I have to leave for work in about a half hour. Um, but the eye look in general is just really easy, really simple. Um, we are going to go in with the ColourPop I Think I Love You palette. I'm going to grab a fluffy brush and uh, go in with this shade right here into our crease. Now that we have that first transition shade in, I'm going to go in with a little bit smaller fluffy brush and I'm going to go with this shade and I'm just going to put that in my uh, outer corner and just kind of blend this in just to give a little bit more depth. And once I have a little bit less product, I'll start bringing it in here, but I want the majority right here on my outer corner. And go back in with the first brush with no product on it and just kind of smooth that out so we don't have any lines or any skipping and everything is blended. Since we have our transition shades done now and the uh, blending work that we have in the outer corner here, we are going to go in with our lid colors. And I'm very excited for this because I love these two. Um, they are the Super Shock Shadows. And we are going in with the shade Paradox and the shade Seeker. I love these. If you don't have these exact shadows or the palettes that I'm using or anything like that, that's fine. You can go in with whatever you have that's similar if you want to recreate this look. Um, so first, oh and these go on better if you work with your fingers. So we are going to take this shade Seeker right here. I'm going to grab that on my finger, just swirl it in. And we're going to apply this to the outer half of our eye. With my Super Shock Shadows, or these two that I have, these are like the first ones that I bought. <laughs> and they're a little bit dry. Um, so I have to work with them a little bit more. After you have those applied, if you want to, you can go in with a brush and just kind of fine tune that just a little bit. You know, if you need a little bit of help getting closer to your lashes or your outer corner, go ahead and do that. We have that blended enough. We are going to go ahead and go in with this beautiful color right here, um, the shade Paradox. Again, going to grab that on my finger. 
and with this one we're gonna put it in um, to our lid on the inner half. Oh, I love this color so much. And again, I'm going to go in with this small brush right here. It's kind of similar to the Morphe M433 brush. Um, but this one I got, like these like kind of bamboo brushes that you see here um, that I use sometimes. I got those from a Coastal Scents pack like years ago. Um, it was like this 50 brush Coastal Scents pack. A lot of them I have thrown away just because I, I don't know, lost them, they got nasty or whatever. Um, but I do still have, you know, some of them. You know, the ones that I really like and I do pretty much use all of these that I still have, which are these right here. So, it was a nice little pack, but like I said, that was years and years and years ago. I haven't even gone on Coastal since coastal scents since then uh to see if those to <laughs> to see if those are still available but anyways back to this i'm just gonna blend make sure there's no harsh lines and i'll go back in with like a transition shade or some sort of crease shade in a little bit um just to further blend that i just want to make sure i get this tight into my inner corner and just get it somewhat blended. If you can hear my dogs, I'm very sorry. They're very excited because it is 7.47 in the morning and they are out to party. Going back in with the palette and back in with this shade. And I'm just going to, you know what, I'm going to mix this shade and the black together and I'm going to hit right here on my outer corner. I think my secret shade I just need to retire it and send it to eyeshadow heaven um because it's not getting the job done. gonna go back in with the first transition shade and I'm using the same brush I'm just wiping it off really well between shadow applications and then one last time with paradox using this Nivea Moisture Lip Care. We're finished with all that. We are going to go in with this beautiful shade here. Um, we're going to take that on like a flat synthetic brush. Oh, I love this shade. I'm going to kick it up just a notch. I'm going to go in with my NARS. I don't know. Okay, so the packaging is like this. When you flip it over, the sticker is upside down. Uh, it's the NARS Dual Intensity Blush in the shade Adoration. And I'm going to go in with the highlight shade. Um, I just want it to be a little bit more pinkier. some winged liner going to use my Maybelline lasting drama matte lacquer liquid matte liner very long name for an eyeliner going to go in with this shade and a little bit of the black and uh, on a flat uh, liner brush here and go in just like this I'm going to use the brush that we used earlier um, 
to blend out our Paradox shade to blend this out with our first transition. All right, gonna coat our lashes with just a little bit of mascara. Going to take my Hoola bronzer So for our highlights today, because I'm extra, we are going to go in with ColourPop Here Kitty Kitty and the Balm Mary Luminizer. Taking a smaller, more detailed brush and just putting that on my inner corners and my brow bone. Okay. Oh, I forgot to highlight my nose. I'm going to take here Kitty Kitty and highlight down the bridge of my nose, the tip, there's a teeny tiny bit on my chin. And I'm going to take this shade on my blush brush, tap it off really well. So for my lip today, I am going to use my CoverGirl Melting Pout Matte Liquid Lip, and this is in the shade Ballerina. I'm going to go over this with my Makeup Forever um, Liquid Lip in 105. It has a name, but I can't think of it. Um, oh yeah. So to set my face, I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Setting Spray. Oh, sticking. We're done! Alright, so here's the finished look. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Um, what are you doing for Valentine's Day? This weekend, me and Chris, we are going to go to San Antonio. We love that city. Um, that's where he proposed to me on the river walk and we just always enjoy going there. So we're going to go back this year. Um, and we are just gonna, you know, have fun, relax. We've already done like all the touristy stuff. So we're just going there to hang out and relax. And, and I hope that you have a great Valentine's day. If you don't have a Valentine, I'll be your Valentine. Love you. So I hope that you have a great rest of the day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all.